In this video we will see how we can export Selenium ID test cases to Python. So let's do this. We go to test suites and open export. Here we select the language and as of now we have this option Python and PyTest. Select it and click on export button. Now we are ready to save our file. I have a folder structure which I will show you later. For this step just don't forget to add .py to your file name and click on save button. If you are interested on how to install VS Code and how to set up the environment for a Python project, please check my VS Code Selenium Python tutorial. I am in VS Code and I will open the folder where I have saved the test file. So under the project folder I have another folder called tests. Actually this folder is a package because it contains this init.py file. And here is our .py file which in Python is called module. And it contains our test cases that were generated by Selenium IDE. What we have to do now is to install the dependencies. So we go to terminal and select new terminal and here we can install the needed packages. We will be using pip install command and we need to install pytest and selenium packages. Again you can find more details on how to set up the environment or how to create a selenium test on my selenium python playlist. So if you are interested you can have a look there. And the packages are installed. Now we can see the import errors for PyTest and Selenium are fixed. What we have here is a test class with setup and teardown functions and two test functions. To give it a run from terminal I will switch to test folder and run the test using the PyTest command followed by the module name. As we can see the tests are running, but the second test seems to have an issue which is caused by this element not interactable exception. And to be more specific on line number 31 where we are trying to click on a web element which is not into view. A very quick fix for this would be to scroll to the element and to wait one second before interacting with the element. Again, this is a quick fix and it's not recommended to insert wait times in your tests. And now let's run the test cases again and as we can see the previous issue is no longer present. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.